that's a lot of <laughs> thankfulness and gratitude you have towards like your parents creating oh, yeah. great habits when you're young. I think we just need more of that uh, we're, Kids just aren't, um, generally speaking, uh, on a large scale, that interested in reading. It's, they'd rather kind of veg it out on that um, on YouTube. candy, cotton yeah. candy stuff yeah. that you're talking about, totally. rather. Well, and again, that's a soapbox for me, and you've probably picked up on it if you read the last two mm-hmm. books. Uh, oh, yeah. And I try not to make it too much of a soapbox. And it, I mean, I, I I'll, have I'll definitely... that soapbox with you and keep yelling. Uh, yeah, like, turn it off. Yeah. Just turn it off. Like, my husband and I... We unplug for the weekend. Like we, I, we really do. Thanks to Andy Crouch. Like we've been oh, doing yeah. that for the yeah. last couple of years. Like we yeah. just turn it off entirely. The phones go away. Everything goes away for the weekend. Um, my kids get screen time only on Friday night movie night when we watch it with them and occasionally Saturday morning cartoons and that's it. So yeah. we max out at three hours a week. Um, and, and even when we go to doctor's office or dentist, I don't let them turn it on. If it's on in the lobby, we go outside and we play till they call us. I mean, it's just, you have mm. to be countercultural. You have to be foolish for Christ to do this well. Um, but you really are protecting your kids. If not, you're, you're turning them into zombies. And it's going to be a lot harder for them as adults to find what is good. 